The beginning of my mentor and I's relationship was pretty rocky. She called me out and that definitely put me in my place. I wasn't used to that. And from there we grew and she taught me a lot about myself. She taught me a lot about boundaries, um, a lot about relationships. I got to come through to Schweitzer through a sober living home. And I just came here because it was required, but then there was the life change plan. And you weren't required to go to the life change plan, but I wanted to do it on my own because that was one thing that I decided to do. through all of the ups and downs. Um, I had to go, you, you try, you're always trying to find yourself, right? Through your addiction, you're trying to find what works and trying to find out who you are and who you're gonna become and what even what you wanna become. And I, my main thing was just, I wanna know me and I wanna be myself. I wanna know who I am. And it took me a lot of um, sober living homes <laughs> to run through. And then Coach House was my la was my final, my final place where I learned who I was and I learned um, what morals I wanted to have. I used to argue with everyone about every single thing that had to do with the church, or just because it wasn't because I thought I was going to be right. I just didn't want them to be right. <laughs> and my mentor sat me down and told me that I was already more like him and that I was already doing things like him and I didn't know it. Like it wasn't always as easy for me to share that I'm coming, like that I'm becoming softer. Like, you know, you get sober and you're not as rough around the edges anymore. You have to get used to that. You have to get used to that, that you're gonna care about people. And it's weird to say, like, it's not easy to care about people, but it is now. It's easy to care about people now. And I love it. It helps me get up in the morning to know that I have a relationship with myself now. I have a partner. I have a family. And I have a family here. My outlet to growing through it was helping other people. And the church has the best opportunities for that. And I think with the church having, that it's not just for addicts, it's for people that are broken. I really like that. My name is Keely Shrum, and this is just the beginning of my story. <laughs>